السلام علیکم آئی ایم میراج کامران ٹیچنگ یو ہیو اباؤٹ ایسیڈیٹی اینڈ بیسیسٹی دس ٹاپک از ریلیٹڈ ٹو مائی پریویس ویڈیو ویئر آئی گیو یو انٹروڈکشن اباؤٹ ایسٹس اینڈ بیسس سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ فرسٹ آف آل آئی ایل گیو یو ڈیفینیشن آف بیسیسٹی آف ایسٹس دا نمبر آف آئنائزیبل ہائیڈروجن آئنس مینس نمبر آف ریپلیسبل ہائیڈروجن آئنس پریزنٹ ان اینی ایسڈ دیٹ نمبر از کالڈ ایز بیسیسٹی آف این ایسڈ فار ایگزامپل جنرل ریپرزینٹیشن آف اینی ایسڈ از ایچ اے وین ایور دس ایسڈ از ڈیزالو ان واٹر ٹو میک این ایکو سولیوشن اٹ بریکس ڈاؤن ان ٹو ایٹس آئنس ایچ پازیٹیو آئن which is called as hydrogen ion and negative ion. This hydrogen ion is known as ionized hydrogen ion and it will give you the number of basicity of any acid. Any hydrogen atom that can form hydrogen ion when dissolved in water to form an aqueous solution is described as ionizable. So basicity of acid is actually number of replaceable, removable or ionizable hydrogen ions present in any acid. Let's explain this through real examples. This is an example of a real acid, HCl, hydrochloric acid. When this real acid hydrochloric acid dissolved in water it breaks down into its ions H positive ion and Cl negative ion. Here number of ionized hydrogen ion is 1 means basicity of HCl is 1. On the basis of this basicity value HCl is classified as monobasic acid or monoprotic acid. We have another example of sulfuric acid H2SO4. When this acid goes in water to make an aqueous solution, it is dissociated into its ions. It gives two hydrogen ions and sulfate ion SO4-2. So the number of ionized hydrogen ion in case of sulfuric acid is 2. So the basicity value of sulfuric acid is 2 and on this basicity value sulfuric acid is classified as dibasic or diprotic acid. Let's see some other examples. Let's take the example of acetic acid formula CHPCOOH. When this goes in water, it breaks down into only one hydrogen ion and acetate ion CH3COO negative ion. In my previous video, I explained the ionization of acetic acid. Although it is having four hydrogen atoms, but only one hydrogen is removable or ionizable. So the basicity of acetic acid will be one and it will be classified as monobasic acid or monoprotic acid. Let's see the example of H3PO4 also known as phosphoric acid. When it is dissolved in water, it breaks down into ions. It gives three hydrogen ions and phosphate ion PO4 with minus three charge. Here the number of ionized hydrogen ions are 3. So the basicity value of phosphoric acid is 3. On the basis of basicity value, it can be classified as tribasic acid or triprotic acid. Now on this basis, we can classify acid into different classes. First is monobasic acid, acids that contain only one ionizable hydrogen ion and their basicity value is 1. These types of acids are called as 
monoprotic acids or monobasic acids. For example, HCl, when it is dissolved in water, it gives only one hydrogen ion and one chloride ion. So, its ionization takes place in one step. So, it is known as monobasic acid or monoprotic acid. Second type is dibasic acids. These acids contain two ionizable hydrogen ions and the basicity value is 2. So they are called as di, di for 2, dibasic acids and diprotic acids. For example, carbonic acid formula is H2CO3. When it will dissolve in water, now in the, in the formula of carbonic acid, there are two hydrogen atoms. You can see here. So out of these two hydrogen, only one will ionize in first step. Second hydrogen is with the remaining negative ion. Now the second hydrogen will remove in second step. After removal of second hydrogen ion, it has become carbonate ion CO3 minus 2. So its ionization is taking place in two steps. Therefore, it is called as dibasic acid. In first step, only one hydrogen is removed. Hydrogen will have positive charge. So, the remaining radical will have negative charge. The third type of acid is known as tribasic acid. These acids contain three ionizable hydrogen ions. And their basicity value is 3. So they are called as triprotic acids or tribasic acids. For example, phosphoric acid H3PO4. When it is dissolved in water, in first step, only one hydrogen ion will remove out of 3. Because you can see in the formula, there are 3 hydrogen ions. So out of 3, only one will remove. And 2 will be here with the remaining radical. And the remaining radical will have minus charge. In second step, from this remaining radical, one more hydrogen ion is removed. And now remaining will be HPO4 minus 2. Here you can see before ionization, there were two hydrogen atoms. And after ionization, there is only one hydrogen atom left with the remaining radical and it will have one more minus sign so it will become minus 2. Still it is having one hydrogen atom so this hydrogen atom will be removed in third step. Here in third step you can see the last hydrogen atom has removed and remaining radical has become PO4 and it has increased one more negative sign so it has become minus 3. So in three steps, each three hydrogen atom is removed as hydrogen ion. So ionization of such type of acids will take place in three steps. Therefore, they are called as tribasic acids or triprotic acids. Now let's discuss this property with respect to bases. It is known as acidity of any base. As you know, bases have OH negative or hydroxyl ions. So, number of ionizable hydroxyl ions present in any base, that number is called as acidity of that base. For example, general representation of any base is BOH. According to Arrhenius theory, whenever this base is dissolved in water to make an aqueous solution, it will break down into ions and it will produce OH negative or hydroxyl ion. Here, the number of OH negative ion is known as ionized hydroxyl ion. This number will tell you the basicity, sorry, acidity value of this base. Let me explain you this in detail. Let's take the example of a base sodium hydroxide. 
it is also known as caustic soda whenever this sodium hydroxide is ionized in water it gives two ions one na positive ion and oh negative ion here number of ionized hydroxyl ion is 1 it shows acidity value of sodium hydroxide is 1 on the basis of its acidity value it is classified as monoacidic or monoprotic base let's see another example magnesium hydroxide mgoh2 there are two oh ions in the formula of magnesium hydroxide so when it will dissolve in water it will produce Mg plus two ion, magnesium ion, and two hydroxyl ions. Here, number of ionized hydroxyl ions are two. Therefore, acidity of magnesium hydroxide is two, and magnesium hydroxide is classified as diacidic or diprotic base. Let's see one more example. aluminium hydroxide aloh3 when this base is dissolved in water it gives three hydroxyl ions and aluminium ion with plus 3 charge the number of ionized hydroxyl ions are three here so acidity value of aluminium hydroxide is 3 therefore it is classified as pri acidic or pri protic base on this basis we can classify bases also on the basis of their acidity value first type of bases are known as monoacidic base these bases contain only one ionizable hydroxyl ion and their acidity value is 1 they are called as monoprotic bases or monoacidic bases example of monoacidic base is potassium hydroxide when it is dissolved in water or it is ionized it gives potassium ion k plus and hydroxyl ion oh negative its ionization can take place in one step only therefore it is known as monoacidic or monoprotic base second type of bases are diacidic base or diprotic base these bases contain two ionizable hydroxyl ions and their acidity value is 2 therefore they are called as diprotic bases or diacidic bases example of such bases is barium hydroxide because barium belongs to two a group of periodic table therefore its valency is 2 therefore two hydroxyl ions are attached with it to make a complete formula so formula of barium hydroxide is baoh2 when it is dissolved in water out of these two oh ions only one is removed here and the remaining one is attached with barium here so in one first step only one oh ion is removed the remaining radical will have plus sign because oh will have minus sign from this remaining radical this oh will remove in second step and it will convert into barium only with plus 2 charge now this remaining radical is not having any more hydroxyl ion so here in second step ionization has completed after removal of two hydroxyl ions so ionization of such bases takes place in two steps therefore they are called as diacidic bases or diprotic bases third type of bases is called as pri acidic bases these type of bases contain three ionizable hydroxyl ions and their acidity value is 3 therefore they are called as triprotic bases or triacidic bases 
Example of such type of bases is chromium hydroxide. Because the valency of chromium is plus 3, therefore 3 OH will attach with it. So formula will become CrOH3. In first step, out of 3, only 1 hydroxyl ion has removed and 2 are still attached with chromium. And this radical will have plus sign. Because OH was having minus sign. In second step, from these two OH, one more OH has removed. So, the remaining formula of the radical will be CrOH plus 2. Because now two hydroxyl ions have removed. Still this radical is having one OH ion. So, it will be removed in the third and final step. After removal of this final last OH ion, chromium will have plus 3 sign. So, in three steps, ionization of such bases takes place. Therefore, these types of bases are called as triacidic base and triprotic base. I hope you understood everything. Now it's time for some homework. Question for your homework is you have to classify each of the following acids and bases. Also write their ionization equations including each step. If the ionization takes place in two step or three step you have to mention each step. First, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, carbonic acid, calcium hydroxide, aluminium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. Now how will you solve this homework? Very simple. You have to write these equations on a piece of paper. Do not uh, forget to write your name on that paper. Then take a picture of that paper from your mobile and send me that picture through whatsapp you will find the whatsapp number in description if you have to ask anything you can ask me in comments please like and share this video and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you